Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into another video with moi. As you can see, I'm not in my usual environment today. I'm actually in my hotel room in Hong Kong. So I'm in Hong Kong for the next couple of weeks, but it's a time of the week where I need to film a new video for you guys. So this week's topic is how to clean your makeup brushes. And do you like how I just kept it in a mug? <laughs> the hotel mug. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how I clean my brushes and it's a very highly requested video and probably because most of you guys know that I do hair and makeup for a living so as you can imagine I clean a lot of brushes pretty regularly so I'm pretty good at this stuff. So if you want to learn how to clean your brushes or makeup sponges keep watching and I'll show you how. So first off, I'm going to need my dirty brushes and sponges, of course. For my cleaning agent today, I'll be using the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This cleanser deep cleans your makeup sponges and brushes, so it removes any of those germs and excess products from them. I'm also going to use some toilet paper. Now stay tuned for the purpose of the toilet paper. And I'm going to use some towels, of course. Now let's get started with the cleaning. I'm going to grab a couple of my eyeshadow brushes and I'm going to wet them in some warm water and swirl them around my cleanser. Once I've got enough product on my brushes, I'm going to slightly wet them again and then swirl it around my palm. This is going to help remove any of that excess eyeshadows in my brushes and help turn them back to white. Once they're nice and clean, I'm going to just grab a towel and I'm just going to pat them dry. I'm going to repeat this step with my other brushes. Now for my big brushes, I'm going to clean them one by one. And for my smaller brushes, I clean a couple of them at a time just to save some time. Now it's important that when you're cleaning your brushes, you always hold them downwards because if any water gets into the barrel, it can break up the glue that's holding the bristles together and ruin your brushes. So you don't want that happening. So make sure you always point it downwards. For my beauty blender, I pretty much use the same technique as I do with my brushes. So I just wet my sponge and then swirl it around my cleanser, then sort of lather it around my palm and then squeeze all that water out. Now it's very important that you guys wash your brushes regularly, especially if you're a makeup artist. But if you're just washing the brushes and tools that you use on yourself, I recommend washing them weekly just to remove any of that gunk and germs in your brushes. Once my brushes are nice and clean and before I leave them to dry, I actually like to make a little guard for them. And that's where my toilet paper comes into handy. So um, sometimes when you wash your brushes, they can sort of like flare out a bit. So this is a good trick. So I like to fold a piece of toilet paper up and then wrap it around my brushes. This is going to help keep all the hairs nicely condensed together so they don't fray out. And it sort of saves you money because you don't need to go buy those brush guards that they sell. Once I'm done, it looks like this, so just pretty much some toilet paper wrapped around my brushes. So I'm going to repeat these steps with my other brushes. I tend to do this extra step for the brushes that are a bit more fluffy and that may lose their shape fairly easily once you wash them. So just creating a nice toilet paper guard helps them keep their shape. Once I've got my brushes wrapped up, I like to place them on a towel and have them point downwards. This is going to ensure that no water gets into the barrel and that they keep their shape and longevity. I like to leave mine to dry overnight and then once they're completely dry, I just store them back into their original place. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please leave any comments or suggestions for future videos below. Also remember to like, share and subscribe to see after doing the future videos. I almost forgot that line. How could I forget? Anyways, I'm going to go eat now because um, it's lunchtime and I'm quite hungry. So I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.